Hi and welcome to our stop motion. Hope we need some light in here. We will fix it. That helped a little, not that much. But uh, as you can see, I'll take this with me. As you can see, we there's a little messy around here. We are making a watermill. And yesterday we made these poles it's standing on because we have to imagine the water coming down from the hills and down in the stream here, passing by here. And now I'm making the wheel, the, the water wheel or what we shall call it. And that turns around while the water is uh, passing by like this. Right, then it's turning. But uh, that's what's, and uh, let's see, do I have, I put it on there, but I still don't have it. Oh, I have it. So we'll see if there's any sound on it. We'll try and see, is there any sound? Yes. You can see there, that's the old water mill, and it's something looking uh, more or less like that, but not uh, exactly the same. I have some uh, freedom to do whatever I want. So, but I have uh, pretty much made this. Uh, and now I need to make the last year. You can see there will be a, this will go through here. And then I make some poles out here. So uh, that will go like this. So, and the center of the, of the, the turning point, the uh, pivot will be in the, right here, and then you can see I have put a little piece of, of cardboard, and we will put uh, like this in all of these here, but we will give this, those another color, it will give, be red like in the, as you can see on the, on the uh, mill, you can see it has kind of a, a red, uh, dark red brown color. And we will, the, the house of the water mill will have that kind of color. And uh, <coughs> all these fields will get filled out with, with like this. So, uh, get in there. And uh, the the timber will be black, and so will this. And the wheel, not entirely black, but uh, a dark gray or something like that. And we will paint a little on it so it looks more naturally. And then we need a roof and so on. But but we are coming there. But uh, not enough of the talking. Now we are going to do something productive. Put this under here so we kind of balance it. And put this over here. And in the end here and stroke here. Which Get out. No. And we will 
hold this on so we are sure that the angle is right. A little bit. And so I think it will be right. It is okay. So, and now we need the last one. And no. Exactly right, and this is also a measurement. It is and then we will put a clamp on it. until it dries and one of these no not that way okay we will push it all the way up So we make sure it stays in place. And oops, we will do the same with this side. There's barely room for it, but it goes. So, and we will let this dry. While we do something else, because we need to have something, you can see I have made some strokes here, and uh, we need something to catch the water, so, and the idea is to use this material here, it's a very thick a cardboard. It's the uh, only thing I have that I don't have wood. This uh, veneer is uh, <coughs> is four millimeters, and that's I could use it, but I think it's too thick, and th therefore I will make uh, the the what are we calling? things like that, uh, shovels, uh, like uh, the things that the water catch and turn the wheels around, shovel wheel, I don't know what you would call it, but I will, hurt. and then by the way, we only have to have it two centimeters This away, this away. So, you will show you in a minute how it fits. And this is a little hard to cut in, but uh, with a sharp scalpel. 
it will work. And this is the distance between the, the two parts of the wheels I have made. And as I have told, I kind of wing it, make it like I think it should look. And uh, you can see, if I do like this, you can see if I do like this, then uh, they have to stand on edge like this then the water will catch uh, in this case the water will come from this side downstream and then it cuts cuts the catch the water if I could say right and turn the wheel right there's no Einstein in that and I need to make a lot of those, or a lot, what I need. I need to make some of those. What is this? And those I will, of course, paint also. And as far as I know, they are little too. And two centimeters or twenty millimeters, whatever you prefer. So, and we will draw stroke. down here to be sure that we make it right. It's kind of hard to draw on this because it has a A smooth surface surface just so we that we are sure to do it right go this way and you see anything if I do like this yes Don't try to push it through in first. And be careful with your fingers because it will bleed all over the place. Everything will be messy. It's, it's very sick. So, go away. And now you can put the plate down in the So you assure it, you hit the same place again.
Yep. Yeah. Now you have the right size this way. And now we need, I don't really, I didn't, five, a half, okay. That one I didn't measure when I, I took the, I just decided that, that looks, looked nice. And if you try to make stuff like this, you don't, it's not that necessary, it looks exactly the same. And uh, in some countries, the watermill looks like I make it here in Germany and Scandinavia, but in other places it looks totally different. So, whatever you think. And there's a lot of other ideas to make. As I said, I, I will make train and you can make uh, A lot of different stuff. The idea is, is here is to make something that kind of is mechanical. So, try to see it like to a kid's eye. That's not hard for me because I am a big one. Kid. Much stuff on the stick here. Yeah. Go away. Oh, and the last. These, not the last because you can see there are many, but uh, now there are enough so that we can glue the two wheels together and then just push them in, I think. If you wish, wish if you, if it's not too late, then wish for a scalpel because you can use it for so many things. I couldn't live without this.
it's the best hobby in life is two small things, of course. I have a big hobby in life too. But I will hope to get all of it finished before Friday or on Friday evening. I will hope. I have worked on it all day and we're going to work on it all day tomorrow, but in between you sometimes have to do something. Go in the store to get food and stuff. And tomorrow my granddaughter come, comes around. So I need to take care of her also. But I do that with great pleasure. Is that a similar ish? Something is wrong here. No. It's okay. So, and we will do the same with this one. And then this one is dry when we finish. And twenty and twenty. No, Longer one down here. So then we cut. We start on this end. Last piece. And As I remember, it was five and a half.
So, and then take that away. So we get a little roll. We can take that away also because that was empty. Need to buy some cotton sticks tomorrow. And of course, when you do stuff like this, it's not anything uh, about making it. When you are doing it self, you're making it cheap. You, that's not. That's not what it's about, because you put a lot of money in it anyway. But it's a pleasure making it. And the reason that I do it is maybe I can inspire you to do it and have the same pleasure doing it as I have. And especially if you can do it with your kids. And the small ones love it. So. I'll use that one. But you can see, even even that every single piece not take a long time. Then there is a lot of pieces, so. You need to have the patience and enjoying it while you are doing it because otherwise it sours for you. You are not going to get one finished in a single evening. Or a weekend. But as Anderson said, it is it's a journey and not the goal. I think we need Whoopty. Be careful, concentrate. We often need to learn to enjoy the small things in a PC. You are doing a lot of other stuff in your work life, then something like this can be pretty de stressing.
So, shall we try to see if we can take this out again and Went fine, and then we need. You can see we need two bits in between here. We will put in here, but and you can see we need to cut these. Or we will not cut it. We will. I will remove this. I will take this camera with me. Another one, you can see what I mean, like this. And now I have to be careful not to fall in the, all the wires. There's wire all over the place. And where is my mouse? I can't find it. Is it dead? No. I just had to wake it up. See? And we will oops, remove this one and take it like this. And the last So you can see now we are you ready here? And I will move it over here to this one in a little while. Oops, this the mouse is dying on me. And it's of course a USB mouse, mice, mouse, mice. I don't know what. I hate those. It is a. Uh, rechargeable batteries in a USB, but uh, it's a anywhere mouse, so I love them, but I have a three or four of the others uh, where I can change the batteries. That's much the best. But now they can sell some more because now I have to change it when the battery is dying, but maybe I figure something out and then I'll put some on my own batteries in it. So use this one. See, we need to put a little guy like this in between. Use and uh, where did I? I 
did that. Oh. <clears throat> yes, the mice die, so you have to. We cannot change right now. I'm afraid to change, then I cannot change back, so. Just a minute. Because then we are stuck on the other camera. And we've been luck. And I take a piece under here so it don't drop down uh, that's okay in a little see put some glue he used a lot of glue But at least that's not expensive. And we should take it in now. And make one more, and we will see if we can. Yes, there it is. And you get a little bit bigger line. But I swear I made the line. this and we will I will cut this and then I will send it whoopsie See if it fits. It does even better than last time. So come on up here. of this I'm fresh out of cotton sticks so tomorrow I'll buy a lot of them because they are good to have and cheap to buy so you see now we have our Hold bar. I'm not that impressed with this. So, C 
see if that will be okay. So now we have these two parts. Now we have to separate them by this. So which one was the dry one or which one was the, whoops, this was not the dry one. Whoops, sorry. We will give it some more glue. No. Then it was this one that was dry. Yep. So if we say this is the, uh, we'll say it's the inner s outside. Whatever. This is the outer side. And then. The water comes from there, and then the shovel has to way be this way, right? Shovel dry. Shovels. Just to be sure that sometimes when you set TNC stuff, and it looks like looks looks like it's straight, and then it's not. But I will not uh, bother you with that. <coughs> you see, you, you you use a lot of of time uh, waiting on glue to dry. has to take in consideration. No, maybe I will not do this yet because I'm considering only take this. Every other one. Because otherwise they get too tight. But you can see the meaning. And I will do that all the way around and put the lid on here and then we have a wheel. Then I had to put and uh, make a, the axle to it and a gearbox inside the house and uh, close all the windows and put a roof on and put the windows in and so on. But uh, for now, I will stop because there's no fun looking at me gluing all of those on. So, I and we have used nearly an hour anyway, so nearly three quarters of an hour. So, but you can, of course, follow. Uh, 
all of it on pixelfantasies.com. And uh, I'll tell you more do. And all the uh, episodes are up there, in there, and they are up on the channel on YouTube. And yeah, I don't think there's much more to say. Just say thanks for today if I am able to close it with my mouse. I am probably not. I hate this. See, it's dead like a dodo. We need to keep sending to the rest of our lives. <coughs> I will go over here and put a Transformer in it. That's why it's so good an idea with. I will close some of the. No. Well, I have a. I have a plate over here. I can take some power. So. That's why you never get any equipment without possibility of changing the batteries. I will never buy one of these again. And I have, where do I have it? I'll show you, but I cannot see it right now, but I have a whole uh, bunch of the micro switches for the other ones, so I just change micro switches when they burn out and they do it. So you never have to change your mouse. And it's easy. I should show it. One day I will show you how to change the micro switches in the mouse. Um, not this. See, now I can run. So. I will say bye-bye and see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Bye-bye.